few months ago I bought a new TV for less than $100. The quality is not bad, but when I tore off my room's light, I noticed that the black color is not really black, but it's kind of gray color. That's because the entire backlight is always on. So the LCD trying to make a black color, but it mixed with the white color that's coming from the backlight and ends up with a gray color. To solve this problem, they invented a method called local dimming. In this method, instead of using a single block of backlight, they used a bunch of tiny LEDs. Then switched on and off each individual LED depends on the nature of the picture that display on the LCD. So for example, let's say you have a picture of shiny moon surrounded by the dark sky. In this case, the microprocessor turns on only the LEDs behind the moon and turns off the rest of the backlight. This smart method not only reduce the power consumption of your TV, but also increase the quality of the display. So I decided to modify my TV and make the backlight local dimming. I start to remove the screws and tear it down. They use the glue to mount the LCD to the plastic body. I need the heat gun to remove it. This is the old backlight before modification. The first problem due to this modification was the curvature of the back cover. In local dimming method, you need a flat surface, otherwise the LEDs lights up the wrong pixels. So I made a new back cover by using wood. Then I removed the frame from the old plastic cover and glued it to the new one. I paint the outside by black color and the inside by white color. I bought 98 tiny LEDs and I have to mount them there. I start to draw 98 square on this flat surface, which is 7 by 14. Then draw across to find the center of each square. Drill a tiny hole under each LED. Glue the LEDs in the centers. Then connect the anode, which is the positive side of all LEDs together. I'm using one ohm resistor for each LED to limit in the current and protect them. Then wire them through the tiny holes. The power consumption of the old backlight was something around 22 watts, and the power consumption of the new LED is 0.24 watts. If you multiply this number by 98, which is the number of LEDs, it's gonna be 23 watts, which is very close to the old one. You don't need to use a heatsink because it stay cool. It works with voltage range from 3 to 3.4 volts. You need a resistor with higher value if you want to run it with higher voltage. So now the backlight is ready, but we need an electronic circuit to drive it. Maybe the first thing that comes to your mind is using an Arduino. But unfortunately, Arduino is not powerful enough to deal with video signal. The second choice could be Raspberry Pi. It's not only expensive, but also difficult to program in. And by the way, you cannot use this HDMI of the Raspberry Pi for this project. Because this HDMI is output HDMI, you need input HDMI. So you have to buy this module, which increase the cost of this project even more. To make it easier, I used a simple trick. I bought a cheap LED projector or data show. Tear it down and take this part from it. It is a tiny LCD and when you connect it to the HDMI, you can see the picture here. Now I'm gonna use a bunch of LDRs or light sensor to detect the black pixels on the display. When the pixel is black, the resistance of the LDR is high, so the gate voltage is low and the LED is off. You have to use the same circuit 98 times, because we have 98 LED in the backlight. I designed this PCB and ordered it from China. Then I soldered the components. I used my 3D printer to make an enclosure for this tiny LCD. But first I have to connect the LEDs to the MOSFETs. I need to make sure everything working just fine. So this was the first test. You need an HDMI splitter here. So the video signal going to the TV and the mini LCD at the same time. After making sure everything working just fine, it's time to put them together. I have some videos here with dark background. My laptop display cannot show the black color as a real black, but it's kind of a gray. But on the other hand, the black color of the TV after modification is real black, which means this project working just fine. 
I'm gonna remove the LCD just to show you what is going on behind the LCD. It's so amazing. You can see the backlight moving. It's not always on, which is fascinating. I was staring at the backlight for a long time because it's so satisfying when you see the LEDs moving depends on the video. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.